absolutely liked her. So, you know, it was like, Alhamdulillah, amazing. Like, you know, at that time, I'm talking about something around uh, 98, 99. Okay. At that time, you know, I was just one of uh, five technical writers in India. And Alhamdulillah, it went very good. Alhamdulillah. So, um, can we start with our session? Because I see most of them have come in. I'll just share something with you, a video. It's not just for fun, it's for learning as well. And then we can just go ahead, inshallah. Thank you for making me the host, Sophia. Okay, I think Saklain would be having some internet problem, but he'll join us soon. An email to Nicole, and I said, Nicole, I want to know the top things that they want to know at this conference when I come to deliver this presentation. This is what you told me. I'm going to teach you the top eight ways in your book to more effectively deliver a business presentation so that you can get your audience to do what you want, so you can motivate them, show credibility, and even make more money. And I'm going to start with how to make boring topics interesting. You should know I'm going to model everything I suggest you do. It used to drive me crazy when I'd go to these conferences and people would tell me to do stuff, but they either wouldn't tell me exactly how to do it or they wouldn't show me how to do it themselves. Everything I'm going to suggest you do, including what I just did, which is called the circle of knowledge, by the way, and I'll give you the steps to it later, I'm going to model for you. And I'm going to start with these fish right here. This is called a hook. And as you know, in fishing, if you don't make the hook appealing, they don't want it. You've got to do the same thing with your presentations. And the number one way that adults find hooks appealing is if you tell them why you're going to give it to them. Most people start with what? Exactly, they start with the what you're going to get. It doesn't work. Do you remember the first thing I said to you? Hi, I'm Jason Tiedek. I gave you my credentials. But then I said, I'm going to show you how to gain a competitive advantage by delivering an irresistible presentation that gets your audience to do what you want. You didn't know how I was going to do it yet. You didn't know what it was going to look like yet, but you knew why you wanted it. I was in line to buy an iPad a few years ago for my wife. and. A man and I were talking in this line, because it's about 100 people long. This is when they first came out. And I looked at him and I said, I see you're in line to buy an iPad. And he says, yep. I said, what does it do? He goes, I don't know. I've never seen one. <laughs> You've never seen one? He goes, nope. I said, well, then how do you know you want it? Because it's going to change my life, he says to me. Yeah. This is how he says it. It's going to change my life. <laughs> really? Why is it going to change your life? He goes, because Steve Jobs, I watched him present on this. And he explained to me that it's going to save me time. I'm going to get things done finally. And I'm going to be able to have some fun too, because I get really bored during the day. He's telling me all these things I'm like, wow, everything he's telling me is which one? Why he'd want it. Here's the practical. I want you to, for your next presentation, to take all the topics you're going to teach. And next to each one, I want you to write down whether you think it'll make your audience more successful more happy, or have more freedom in their life. Just write an H, S, or F next to each topic. Then write down why, and then look at all those summaries of those topics, and then summarize all that in one sentence. Like, I'm going to show you how to gain a competitive advantage by delivering a presentation that gets your audience to do what you want. Doesn't that make business professionals more successful when they get their audience to do what they want? And won't it make them happier when they have that competitive advantage? And when I said that, you could hear a pin drop in here. Did you notice that? Because everyone wants it. If you, you know you did this right, by the way, if you say it and the people say, oh, I've been looking for someone like you. <laughs> That's a hook. That's the first way to make your presentations amazing and irresistible. Hi, I'm Jason Tiedek from Rule the Room, and you're about to learn how to deliver money-making presentations using tools and techniques that most business professionals will never know. If you're looking to advance your career, boost your income level, Ma'am, I guess instead of writing, there should be more photos to attract the audience. Like if he just writes, writes, and writes, 
on the presentation, the audience will get bored and they will start sleeping. Oh, no, no, no. He will have just a written material. It's like when he says write, it would be everything. It would be a picture. A picture. It would be a text. More pictures be should a, be there instead of more writing. Uh, even a video for that matter. Okay. So, uh, we'll continue with the present uh, the points later in our next session. So, can we start with the presentation? Who would like to go first? Yeah, who would like to go first? Okay, Muneeb. Okay, go on Muneeb. Uh, do you have to play a PPT, a PowerPoint? Yes, please. Yes, please, go on. No worries, take your time, Muni. You need any help, just let me know. You could go slideshow and from the beginning, Muni. No, I'm trying that from the beginning. Okay, that's it. Just go to slideshow. On the top, in the menu bar, you can go to slideshow. No, not that, not that. Just, don't, don't, don't go there. Just go to the top menu bar. Below your title bar, the menu. Yeah, go over there, slideshow. And just say, from beginning. Okay. This is where you start, Muni. No, ma'am. No. Okay. Could, could I see your screen again, please? I start from here, competitive analysis against Umbro. Okay. You know, what, what would must have happened, Muni? Okay. Yeah, even F5 would be good, function key. Uh, do one thing, just be over here. No, 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 Muni, just listen to me. Let your slide show. When you started, if it's starting from your second slide, then you can press your left arrow key on your keyboard. Okay? Uh, I, I yeah, do that. Do that. Though it's starting from the second slide, just do the left. Mm. So I'm going to talk about competitive analysis against Umbro. It is a football company. And I'm also, uh, when I grow up, I'm also planning to, to be, uh, to start a football equipment company. So, is Umbro a famous company? Yes, Umbro is a famous company. Umbro sends over like 90 countries of the world. And inshallah, my country, my company, the Galaxy Panthers, will sell over the whole world like Nike, Adidas, etc. Which brand is Umbro? Umbro is originally a Manchester-based football brand and it also made its first state for Manchester, United, Manchester City in FA Cup. Galaxy Panthers will be a really outstanding football brand and also will make first state for the team I will be playing for that time. <laughs> Is Umbro's pricing high? Umbro. They sell their shoes approximately from 50 rupees to 1,399 rupees. 
जर्सी फ्रॉम थ्री सिक्सटी Their highest amount of selling their goalie glove is eight sixty rupees. And football. And my company will sell shoes till one thousand from one thousand rupees up to five hundred rupees. So like this, I think my com my company will run. More over than Umbro because because my company is selling uh, is selling cheap. Are Umbro friends? Are Umbro products eco friendly? So does Umbro use in uh, use uh, natural material uh, uh, on its product? in all like if they do not use anything if they have got one out of five in eco friendly products they do not use a natural product to make their product but my company is eco friendly because in bakari they when we cut when we cut uh, goat because that flesh is there of uh, the goat which they we throw them but but i will buy them from uh, where they cut and then i will make inside the shoes it is there no in the sole and everything i will make shoes from the you know, so this flesh of the goat it is soft and it will be very strong also it will make uh, players to to play easily for football they play they will play football very easily good good munif good you hope so you are not making all of us bakras right no okay good <laughs> product friends so our umbros products very powerful or like they they have samples of something umbro does not have very good quality of product they are not using natural material they are using like uh, like they will use not natural material so their products are not and they are not giving like when umbro started it was really uh, umbro was really brought by nike it was it was not developed like a real company nike brought umbro in like uh, it made it famous so umbro will uh, umbro products are also not good my company is eco friendly it will be strong the material which i am using is soft and powerful also right okay just sorry munib uh, is, thank you so much go ahead go ahead thank you welcome munib and uh, i think shabana ma'am is not there so i'm taking over how is the yeah, format I'm sorry oh ma'am is back yeah in perfect perfect you take over i was just doing a proxy no 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 perfect perfect uh, i don't know what's wrong we've just complained to the internet uh, vendor also and uh, let's uh, hope he'll just sort out this problem yeah, yeah? Yes, okay okay uh, uh, so i believe you uh, attended munib's yeah yes, yes ma'am and uh, so, would you like to uh, give some input uh, daud bhai please No, I like the question that Ahmed asked, and uh, I want to see what Munib answers, and then I'll answer Ahmed. Uh, so, Ahmed, can you ask the question again? It's better. I like the way you ask. Uh, Munib, I don't think anybody will want to wear shoes made out of goat flesh. Hmm. That's interesting. Some people Why do you think like that. Most no, Munib, good. Why It's do you think like that? It's disgusting. I don't know. Kind of disgusting, it's disgusting. Munib. Yeah, that's a customer's viewpoint. What do you think, Munib? They will have choice if they don't want if they don't want a uh, shoes of goat flesh. 
Then we, I will give them a different shoes. Which shoes? Yes. Which shoes? What different shoes, Muni? What are the other materials you're using? Uh, Muni, Muni, could you just uh, stop the screen sharing, please? Right. Leather, right? Okay, but but uh, I just wanted to understand now. Good question, uh, Ahmed. You know, uh, he's talking about the soles also. Do you know all the typical soles that we wear of shoes? By the way, is made of pig's fat. How many of no. you are aware of that? No. So the current shoes that you're wearing. Not mine. Sophia, not yours. Okay. Uh, but but Nike does it. Caterpillar does it. All those who are wearing Nike and Caterpillar, Adidas, they have pig fat as a as a soles uh, this thing. And this is something I heard from a shoemaker. Do you are you aware of it? No? Why don't you research it? Why don't you go and tell me if it's right or wrong? I guess it's wrong. Presumption, Sophia, you, I want you to research it and let me know. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. But Munib, I like the concept. Very interesting. Uh, Ahmed, also your question was very interesting. So it's good conversation, Shabana, ma'am. The students, Mandela's are doing fantastic. You go ahead. Who's next? I'll, I'm, I'll enjoy the conversation. I'll go back okay. in the back screen now. Okay. I'm going to go on. Right. Um. Uh, Amina, I would like to you to introduce yourself first, yeah, and then start with the presentation, please. Uh, yes, one minute. So, um, hello everybody. My name is Amina Aga. I am eleven years old. I study in Golden Sparrow, Mandela, and my hobby is to do art and to do photography and i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be uh, talking about the competitive analysis for the for my online photography course so and the name of your business please the name of my business is uh, lenses vision for the online photography course fantastic So my competitor that I've chosen is Katie Evans. She has been a professional photographer for the past eight years and she has written three uh, very uh, popular photography books and now she teaches online photography to kids. And I could relate to her because I have the same, I'm going to be starting the same business as her. So that's why. The audience aware, uh, uh, her audience awareness, uh, it's her course is open to all ages above 10 and kids below that are trained the key of natural posing. So she usually just takes pictures of uh, kids and families and not much of nature. So she, uh, kids below 10, like babies and toddlers, she teaches them how to pose properly for pictures and like the key of natural posing. And then uh, above 10, she... Uh, the course is available to above 10 kids, uh, the ages above 10, so they can uh, do the course. Uh, she has a web, uh, the branding, uh, she has a website called key to pictures where she conducts her course. And there are different price, prices based on the number of lessons in each course. So the minimum price is uh, $20 and the maximum price is $200. One way how she does marketing is through her book, which is Katie Evans' best-selling book, The Key uh, to Natural Posing. Other ways are through social media and her blog posts. Trademark and patent. It's mentioned that her pictures that she has posted on her website are copyrighted. And I couldn't find that like her company or her website is um, trademarked. But the photos that she's posted on her website are copyrighted. Her business is currently only available to local people who reside in US and it's not a global um, uh, business. So we can like people who are not in US cannot join the course, but it's only the, for the people who are in US. In-house culture, her, com uh, her company is a single owner company. So she is like, or taking it as a sole proprietorship and she uh, does the company on her own. She doesn't have many employees. And um, not uh, she is not having much of an environment friendly 
but it's human friendly as she only captures photos of uh, families babies and kids and not of nature so that's why and the unique selling points are that it's a interactive video based online training program and it captures emotions of toddlers and kids Uh, the product strengths are that uh, the best thing about the company's photography is that they capture a special and memorable moments with families babies and kids and also learn that in the course you do not need to have a professional camera to start you can uh, use your phone and the limitations that i have for um, her business is that she can have a bigger team um, on how she can like use it to uh, teach the course and she can have a better ma marketing strategy like um, so that more people are going to be aware of her courses and she can make her company global instead of local so there will be more people who are wanting to join it thank you uh, brilliant you know excellent work uh, good very very good research uh, however there was a query from ahmed right ahmed could you just i'm as i have a query yeah yeah yes yeah, sophia so one has um, a powerpoint was excellent and like they had many photos so i liked it a lot and but i have query like if he like if even if the people had to come so he is going to make the company which is global right so he has to go with the people invite so what will he do if the people invite her from all over the country like what uh, where will he go like where are you starting the company it's a online course so it's not like you have to travel you can do it from online from any country but she has to just make the company global for that because for now it's only available in us okay But uh, in pandemic, you can't do so many online courses. You need to send it to each and every one of the course. Like in Zoom, you have to send. No, it to it's a course. It's like a website. You have to sign in. Whoever wants to join the course, you have. To, it's not live. It's offline. It's not a live. It was live course. Okay. Uh, Ahmed is asking that you have some courses even in Udemy for photography, right? So. So you can challenge in... Udemy also then. What would? Oh, Would would that be your um, competitor, Amina, or no? How how do you feel about that? Tell me. Uh, I would not uh, take Udemy as my competitor because Udemy is a website with different courses, not only photography. And I'm starting a business of only photography. Brilliant. So, there there's my strong lady. Okay, Amina, if you notice, like you know what you told me, because I've not studied your competitors, I'm just watching you right now. Uh, I've just realized that she is uh, capturing on emotion, right? Because she's been clicking pictures about the family and especially kids. So she her USP would be like you know connecting to humans, like you know that that thing about you know capturing your. What is your USP? and your kodak you know that kodak i don't think you all will uh, yeah. click to kodak moment but the, you know that uh, particular thing about uh, connecting to emotions and having those long lasting memories okay so they they, they are doing with the family what would you prefer to buy would your photography be limited only to that or how would you approach what would your approach be and like safia said what your usp uh, so on my website there will be different courses so for example people are wanting to click pictures of nature or they like nature a lot so they can uh, visit that course and i will be teaching everything so whatever the people are comfortable learning like if they are comfortable learning about nature like how to click pictures of nature then they can uh, visit on that course and if they want to catch emotions then they can visit on the emotions course Okay, and uh, the pricing part, you know, it was like twenty dollars to two hundred dollars. So was it like a beginners to an advanced or what was it? Uh, so it uh, depended on the courses. So there were about seven to eight courses on the website, and uh, all the different courses had about thirty-five to forty lessons. So. Uh, according to the number of lessons uh, it was uh, pr the pricing was based and a few of them that were for beginners were also for free so a few of the courses that were for beginners were also free exactly you know this is what you also need to do have I'm, some few initiatives to have like more in friend circle he needs to have more photographers like he can't teach everyone at the same time right so he needs to have more photographers to teach 
like more friend circle when they she does does with that. her family for now so she does not have such a big team that's why no actually uh, the thing is it would be recorded sessions you're only taking the fan and maybe right? maybe you know the recorded sessions would be definitely at a lower price rate and if you want to have a live session maybe you could charge more for it right and uh, uh, i'm at please ask the question rather than typing it it's all right we understand what you're talking you know it's all right go on Ahmed is asking you a question. Uh, he's put it in the chat yeah. box as well. I mean, what qualifications do you, do you have? Like you said, she wrote a whole book on photography. So, what qualifications do you have? Right. So, before I will start the courses, I'm gonna have to get a qualification, and then I'm gonna start the courses. So, it's not started yet, but once I will. Um, start to grow up. No, but whenever I start, uh, I guess it's more about the passion and the skill development, right? And obviously, she's got to register for a course in Udemy, yeah, right, uh, Avina. And uh, I think uh, it should be all right, you know, because uh, Ahmed, it's always all about you know your passion, you have the skills you develop, and uh, along the way you gather the knowledge. So okay, now the pricing part. Amina, how would you be pricing your product? How would you be doing it? Do it a little cheap. Uh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it free for beginners, and if it comes to a more higher, like course, then I will keep it for about um, twenty to fifty rupees. Uh, uh, okay. uh twenty to fifty rupees. Yes. Come and I'll go. Twenty fifty rupees for what? One um, session. Based, based on the how many lessons are in each course. Okay. I, add I think that. I think we'll do that in a pricing. We we will come to uh, pricing also of our product. Yeah. So I mean, I mean we were like Ambedkar and all. They should keep ten thousand. You know, man, because yeah. they're so rich that they can give this fifty rupees and nothing for them. Yeah. They so make, we. The we beginner can... people they make uh, flying okay. and they pay. Yeah. So we'll come to the pricing part also of your product. You know, like see, like I said, the uh, aim is at the end of it you will be able to launch your business. Okay, we will consider all the aspects that are related to it. We will tackle each and every problem that will come along the way. By the end of this year, you all will be very well equipped to start whatever business ideas you've given. And you can just go ahead with it. You can launch it, okay? Of course, with the blessing of your parents also and Golden Sparrow, definitely. But uh, that is my main aim, and that's one of the reasons I've been asking you to give these presentations and um, talk about it, so that we have it a professional way, also a professional approach, also. Pricing, I mean, we'll talk about it later when we do that particular section. Otherwise, fantastic. I love the way you researched about your competitor. Did it help you any way to make your product better? And uh, uh, re, you know, like uh, readjust your strategies, Amina. Yeah, I did because I understood about how my like pricing should be, and I also understood that um, you don't only need like a professional camera; you can do it with your phone also. Okay, so wish you luck with your course at Udemy about photography. Yeah, uh, lovely. I love the way you went ahead with it. Uh, anyone else who wants to go next, tell me. Man, Abdullah, Mazim, Mutafir, Farhana, Humaira, Ahmad. Who's going next? Safiya. You want to go next? We can take one more right now. Who's going next? Yes, Mazim. Okay, Safiya, go on. One second. Um.
Ma'am, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. Fine. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia, and I'm. My company name is Turkish Fry, and after the popularity of Zero Sartagul, the Turkish series, uh, people have started wearing hats over the years, like this. They have like a colorful hats all over the years. So at the company, which is my computer, would be Amazon. Um, Amazon, because Amazon, they sell the Turkish hats, which is called as fairs, are very expensive. And they're always made in China. It should be actually made in Turkey and not China. And they're not at all eco-friendly. My company would be cheap and they would be made in Turkey and they would be eco-friendly. Okay, uh, Sophia, why don't you do a slideshow, please? Like that would be better. Fine. One second. Abu, how do we do slideshow? Ma'am, it's difficult right now to. Okay, slide. okay, no worries. Perfect, perfect. Okay, go on with it, please. This is my company's sign. There would be a Kai flag because this is, the fair was uh, uh, worn by the Muslims against the British, and this is my sign. It's eco friendly, it's made in Turkey, and it has SDG 12, 15, and 17. And I will even sell swords, spears, shields, and etc. Thank you. Then. Oh, ma fantastic. Uh, 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 ma'am, I have a question, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just a minute, Muni. Satya, could you go to your first and second slide, please? Can I just see them? Uh, sorry, the fourth slide, please. Fourth. Fourth slide. Fourth, yeah. Okay, it is expensive. And really Amazon expensive. products are very expensive. Okay, the hats which you're getting on Amazon, they are expensive, they're made in China, and they're not eco-friendly, right? Ma'am, they're so expensive. Only one hat comes for 500 rupees. First, the people there to give these hats in free, ma'am. And that's why. And they're not at all eco-friendly. They're made of leather, which are, which are leather and all these. Oh, yes, and they don't have any variety. They have only brown and black. My company will have varieties of hats. Like variety color. Amazon doesn't have that. Ma'am, I have a question. Ma'am, ma you are stuck, ma'am. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm in oh, a good Ma'am, I have a question. I think even Muni has a question. Yeah. Ma'am, I want to ask something. Ma'am, I also. Ma'am, how um, if, if she is selling more than she is? If she is selling more than she is, how like ma'am, nobody will use more than she is at these times because everybody is like using uh, guns, rifles, snipers, and etc. Who will use more Ma'am, it's echoing. In most of the countries, the in like in Turkey and all whoever is idols and they use the sword and shield only. They don't uh, use guns. So yeah, just just can you just stop uh, the screen sharing, please? Yes, so that we can see you. Yeah. Who, ma'am? Because idol is so popular. And the people nowadays they start using all the ethel things because ethel is popular all over the world. In Pakistan, you see, ma'am, 
they use like all ethereal things only. They make songs and then they put ethereal background like thing. Like that is so popular that people started uh, being like them. Still have people just go and okay. tell that time. And you said you will be manufacturing them. Uh, uh, you would be manufacturing it in Turkey, not in China, right? No. Because everything is made in China. Ma'am? How much more your cost will become? Have you thought about it? No, ma'am. It will be cheap. Not so much. That's why the people don't wear. That time, ma'am, everyone in that time, they used to wear hats. Says No one used to wear like this. Nowadays, if you write any hat, you write Turkish hat, they'll show you a hat, normal hat with curry flag on it. So it doesn't look so good. And the people... Amazon, they only sell only one, two, one or two colors, like brown and black. They don't sell other colors. My hat would be colorful, so everyone would want to buy it. Okay, uh, Safiya, now one thing, you're in India, okay? And you're going to manufacture your hats over there in Turkey. Yeah. So have you thought about it, how you're going to work out, work it out? Right. Like Can you're you sitting it? in India, right? And you're going to manufacture over there. So who's going to oversee your manufacturing over there? Do you have a partner? Because this is, again, you want to go into sole proprietorship or you're going to hire somebody over there. How are you going to do that? I stay in Turkey, right? Sorry? I can do it in Turkey, right? I can go yeah, to, you, to Turkey. No, no, no. And... Uh, my question to you, Safiya, would be, you're in India right now, okay? Yeah. And you're going to start your manufacturing of hats. You'll be asking the tailor in Turkey, right? So you'll be getting your leather from Turkey. You'll be getting that trim yes. fur from Turkey. Everything from there, right? Yes. Who is going to run the business for you over there? I make friend in Turkey. Okay. You will make a friend in Turkey. And I'll ask and... him to do that. Okay. So you'll be paying him for that. Well, you have a Turkish airline. So I can even ask the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? We'll ask Imran to just uh, stop working for Turkish Airlines and start manufacturing hats. Okay, why don't I suggest this? You know, Sophia, I love your idea. You know, like Turkey made hats, you know, Turkey origin because it's a tool after all. But why don't I say we go local? As in, you start the manufacturing in India. Okay, here you try to get access over here to the tailors, okay, who would be stitching for you, okay, and you get leather out here. Yeah, okay. I will sell it in Turkey, like in China, they come there like that. So mm -hmm. I will not buy Turkey and not buy leathers from Amazon and all, but I'll buy it in Turkey only because nowadays, every time I'm in toys, books, everything is written made in China. Right. Because Turkish hats is not made in China, so why should we write made in China in there? You should write made no, in no, Turkey. No, no you, you don't don't go in for Turkey. Why don't we just make it, manufacture it in uh, India? Yeah, okay? I'm made in and once you get it set, okay, you get your business set and you're doing very well, you can start something down the line yeah. in Turkey. But right now, we concentrate on making it in India, okay? Mm. We can do something like that, right? And uh, Ahmed has a very valid point, you know. You, you can sell it on Amazon, right? Because obviously it will reduce your storage and website development. Because um, once you're going to manage How will I challenge them? If I'm not selling no. on Amazon, then how will I challenge them? I'm challenging you're them. Challenge. You're challenging? Because you're uh, amazing. going okay. against Amazon. On them. Okay, actually, Amazon wouldn't be your competitors. Your competitors would be the other people selling ah, hats of similar Amazon. types, right? Amazon is a vendor. It's basically, he's going to be a supplier. So Ma it's like, you know, you just, you keep your hats in the shop and how the shop people will sell it for you. So Amazon is just your online shop wherein you're going to display your hats and people are going to buy from there. Yes, Muneet, tell me. Um, I have another key. Uh, query. Then we can have Flipkart, yeah. ma'am. Instead of Amazon. Okay, okay. you can definitely. You can go for any online. Online, okay. Okay. Ma'am. So that's why I kept them as a challenge because they're difficult to challenge. Okay. So uh, not only the China product, even Amazon is like your competitor. Okay, fantastic. Yes, Munir? No, she says that she would be using, she would be selling swords and shields. But who would be 
uh, buying them. Why they would be buying them? Because the people them? of Turkey, of course. Ethanol fentanyl, of course. They are money, na ma'am. Money. The swords are not for fighting. They just for collecting. Like keep it as in a showcase. That we are, they can show that we are ethanol fans. Yeah, you're not uh, supposed to fight. So why do you want to just sell it in Turkey? And I didn't why say not all around the world. Why not? Why not all over the world, ma'am? I didn't say that I'm only buying the swords and shields. I said that I can sell anything. Like everything will be made in Turkey. I didn't say no, I have to sell the swords. I can sell guns also. That's a problem. Uh-huh. No, first you were saying nothing wrong. Who is going to let Axel for? Continue. Safi, first thing. First thing, we are going to manufacture in India. Okay? We'll think about Turkey afterwards. Turkey later on when we move on from sole proprietorship to partnership. Okay, so we are going to manufacture in India. Secondly, we don't just need Flipkart. You know, there are many, are there many companies? portals. You know, wherein they they collect this art. Wherein they have this art collection, right? They have lots and lots of art collection. Many many companies. We can definitely tie up with them also. You need not sell just on. Am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So you know you have this kind of uh, not just Flipkart, but you have these special portals only for art collectors and you know people who like to collect these kind of things. So you could have a tie up with them also for selling your products and even for marketing, right? And uh, I would suggest that right now. We don't think about Turkey as a manufacturing place, but we think India also. Is that okay with you, Sophia? Yes. Right. Yeah, after so I grow up, I'm gonna sell it in be... Turkey. After the pandemic, man. So yeah. after the pandemic, so we can go anywhere. So, yeah. Yes, we all will go to Turkey. Yeah, we all will go to Turkey. But selling, I would, re- I would re- rather that you sell in India also, uh, not just Turkey, but uh, globally. Yeah. Yeah, globally. Ma'am, I, I just said that I'll make yes, it in Turkey. Yes, you have to. You have to. Don't limit yourself to Turkey only. <laughs> it is okay. globally. Now you know what. Uh, you can go anywhere. You, like it will be sell anywhere. But the the ledger and all it will be bought from Turkey. Like you can ask anyone in Turkey. They will all, you know. You can just make like. I'm okay. not gonna make. You know uh, this 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 thing will this thing will economically globally. I'll say this thing will we we can discuss again when we talk about cost and pricing. You know the pricing and the cost when we do the economics part of business. Okay, the cost and pricing part. Mm-hmm. So that time you can decide whether you would like to go for uh, Turkey Global. production in Turkey or whether you would like. But to how will it come in cost and products? It will come. I'll, I'll I'll teach you about it. Yeah, and that is the time you can re- uh, when, when, uh, whether you want your raw materials also from Turkey or you want it locally. Okay, so we'll take that later. So I think we end the session now. Thank you very much, Manib, Amina, and Safia. Very well done. Next Thank week we're going to do with the rest of all. Okay. So please be ready, all of you. We finish it off because then you don't want to drag this on for a long time. We finish this off the next week, and then we can go ahead with the other aspects. Also, there are many aspects which we have to cover up. Right. So this is just a beginning, and then accordingly we're going to work on our product. How we're going to improve them. So thank you so much. And yes, I've talked to the internet vendor, and I hopefully solve this internet problem soon enough. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye, you, ma'am. Ma'am. Bye, ma'am.